the primary thing that we're going to talk about today is the uh, need to add new HVAC. So this is a view of the existing condition on the roof of Synod Hall. You can see uh, the existing mechanical equipment, actually all of the equipment you see here with the exception of probably the roof hatch is gonna go away as part of this project and will be replaced with equipment that allows us to install the new systems we're proposing. In addition, one of the benefits of the project is that there are some ground floor condensing units that are part of kind of the existing sort of patchwork <laughs> HVAC system for lack of a better word. And our project with our new equipment will be removing all of those. So here's a plan um, showing a diagrammatic layout of the new rooftop equipment. So on the right-hand side, again, towards North Craig, you can see where we do have um, several units. There are condensing units. Um, there's an air intake ventilation equipment on that side. And then on the parking side, the rear, there are two large condensing units, which primarily serve for the air conditioning for the auditorium. Those units are also going to be installed on the roof. You could see that from North Craig Street, because of the way the roof is configured um, with this gabled roof in front of the flat portion, um, you actually aren't able to see any of the existing or proposed rooftop equipment from this view. This pair of images, this one and then the next one, which we'll show in a second, show where you do start to actually be able to see the equipment. So when you get to kind of an oblique angle um, and you look from the side, if you look, this is the existing condition, you could see some of the existing lower ventilators that are there. And this would be the new equipment. Um, the tallest of the units on this roof, I think are about 80 inches tall. Coming from the other side, you could see that for most of it, again, the apartment building that's adjacent blocks your view of these units. And here you could see just before you get, when you're in that spot where you could see past the apartment building, but before that front gabled roof blocks your view, you will have some view of the rooftop equipment and potentially a guardrail that we think we're gonna need just for safety on the existing roof hatch. So moving around the back, um, this is where we um, looked at locating some of the larger equipment to get it off of that primary facade and also to help us serve the auditorium, which is what these large condensing units are doing. Um, so coming down Dithridge Street, you know, the cathedral itself blocks the view of the back of the building for most of this from coming from this side. And from the other side, it, this is actually the Chinese Church of Oakland next door. You don't see anything, again, at the rear of this building until you get past it. So this is kind of in that window, um, again, looking over the parking lot, you do have a view of the back of Synod Hall. And you can see there's an auditorium and then a later garage with these three um, such as service bay doors that was added onto the building at some point. You know, when we started designing the systems, we really focused on this as an area where we can add equipment without a negative impact on the historic building. And so here you can see these are actually the largest of the units. These are 84 inches tall. Again, when we give heights, we're including all of the stuff that goes under it and the curbs. That's the height from the roof. There is a small parapet in the garage, not enough to really conceal much of them. Um, so these units are about seven feet up above the roof. Um, and you can see them rendered here in their you know, approximate sizes. Um, I think at this point, we're still in construction documents, still working on the design, but we have a pretty good idea of how big that these need to be to make sure that we're presenting kind of accurately what this is gonna look like on that rear facade. 